Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. A woman allegedly converted $85,000 into Bitcoin and other virtual currencies to support Islamic State, but was nabbed by authorities as she tried to board a flight out of the U.S. Zubia Shanaz, 27, a U.S. citizen, was indicted Thursday in federal court in central Islip, New York. A five-count indictment charges Shanaz with bank fraud, conspiracy to commit money laundering, and three substantive counts of money laundering. This is according to a U.S. Department of Justice statement. Both the court filing and the incident in indictment, excuse me, released Thursday, alleged that Shanaz defrauded several financial institutions, which is how she gained more than $85,000. After allegedly swindling the financial institutions out of money, Shanaz proceeded with the conversion of that money into Bitcoin and similar currencies, which were then moved to overseas funds and laundered in order to support the Islamic State. This is what the DOJ press release stated. Now, Shanaz was arrested on Wednesday at John F. Kennedy International Airport following a line of questioning by law enforcement officials who stopped her as she tried to leave the U.S. for Islamabad, Pakistan. Now, Shanaz laundered the Bitcoin proceeds to people in the countries of China, Turkey, and Pakistan. The woman also accessed ISIS propaganda, violent jihad-related websites and message boards, and social media and messaging pages of known ISIS recruiters, facilitators, and financiers, according to the DOJ statement. Huh, isn't that interesting? But not at all surprising. I mean, Bitcoin I, can be used to launder money just the same as cold hard cash could. So this is not a surprising development at all. Um, I, I suppose probably much more of this goes on than we're even aware of. And certainly being that there are, are no regulations over Bitcoin, the government doesn't have its hands on it yet. Uh, this might be a fairly easy thing to do. I will leave you a link to this, folks, and I ask you please to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. But most importantly of all, these are perilous times within the maelstrom that we are living. So do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hi, this is Jim. Please allow me to introduce my latest fiction book, Fortress, A Wayfarer Story. Fortress is an edgy and realistic fiction tale that depicts an America that is a far cry from that which your parents grew up in. God has been asked to leave the proverbial building, leaving the door open for enemies, natural and supernatural, to enter. As the nation stands on the verge of global and civil war and economic collapse, up is down, right is wrong, and a fog of deception has settled over the amber waves of grain. Lies are presented as truth, while those who would tell the truth are marginalized and persecuted. And could it be that those who disseminate the truth could have their very modes of conveyance taken away? If you're a fan of the alternative media and a watcher of world events, Fortress is a fiction story that just might smack of truth. It's available in Kindle and paperback, and it's linked below. Check it out today.